What's up everybody? It's Vivian. Welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want you guys to ignore the messy room. I had to move to online learning, so it's a little chaotic. But speaking of learning, today I'm going to be talking about how you fellow editors, but if you're not an editor, then I don't know why you're watching this video, but that's cool. I thought it'd be a very necessary video since we're kind of mid into school, almost October, that I would do how to balance editing and school because they're very time consuming things. I'm going to teach you on my point of view and my opinion on how to balance them both. Also, sorry if I'm going fast. The new Miraculous episode came out and I really want to watch it. So I'm probably going to talk really fast to get this video over with, but you're just going to have to accept it. My first piece of advice is procrastination is your enemy. Now we've all procrastinated. That is normal. That is a human thing that we all do it's when we when we dread doing homework we always put it off and you're like maybe i should edit first no you have to make a solid schedule or something something that you are disciplinedly gonna go by okay so that means what does that mean actually <laughs> it's not an easy thing that you can do so you can't just all of a sudden be like i'm never gonna I'm procrastinate again i'm gonna get, gonna get everything get done, done when it's due and do that do. you're gonna have to do it slowly it is a process you if you're a procrastinator because some people don't procrastinate i personally am not a procrastinator i get stuff when it's done when they assign it because actually because of editing i decide to just not do my homework the day it's due if you know what i mean you have to be diligent if you want to spend time a good time to edit and good time to do school you have to you know do stuff fast and do it with purpose you can't just like go on tiktok for two hours and then be like oh, i'll edit this time and then i'll edit during and then i'll do school when oh, it's when the it's that never works okay i look at the clock i'm like oh it's 7 30 i'm gonna do it at eight o'clock it's 802 oh i'm gonna do it at 8 30 no i know how it is you have to set a diligent schedule like i said it takes time and it's not something you can just do overnight just slowly start to you know find yourself doing your homework a little bit faster so you can carve out more time so what i personally do is kind of different and not exactly like everyone's schedule is unique to them obviously your school has different things you might be in different grades everyone is at a different pace so for me personally i this isn't necessarily smart but this is how i kind of balance it out i make edits on the weekends like when i'm free when i have that free time i sometimes i make two edits in a day i know crazy and now the edits aren't stellar they're not great but it's content okay if you're like because some editors post for fun when they're motivated but other people really care about growing their fan base and if you're that kind of person making edits and spacing it out so like what i do is so i'll kind of cram it in one day and then space it out the rest of the week so i have time to breathe like for me i'd rather spend one day being really mean to myself than being freaked out the whole week if that makes sense so just make sure that your schedule is consistent to you and find what works best for you so my second tip is breaks are needed okay you have to like screen that is so much screen especially if you're doing online like zoom school or like school online concurrent learning you got to take a break or at least find something that gets stress off your eyeballs because i know you're not going to be motivated and you're not going to want to and you're just going to feel like you're going to want to procrastinate even more if you keep looking at a screen for that long. I, my eyes start to like tear up if I've been looking at a screen. I have eye drops. I got these, where are they? I got these blue light glasses. So I have, so my eyes get a little break if you have no choice but to be on your screen for that long. But breaks are crucial. Because if you spend all this time on a screen and then school, you're just gonna feel so drained. You're not gonna feel balanced at all. You're gonna feel out of whack. You're gonna feel like you don't want to get anything done and procrastination is going to go through the roof. The next piece of advice is probably going to be your least favorite because a lot of people don't like to hear this but it's kind of just harsh advice if it comes to making an edit or studying for god's sakes choose studying editing is not permanent okay like as much as we love it it is not permanent school the law forces us to do it we can't let it go unless you drop out which if you are let me come with you. It sucks. Like we don't like put like editing is such a fun passion of ours and we love doing it. But you have to know that in the long run, studying is going to get you farther, which is so sad. Like I hate admitting it. But for me, if I choose editing over studying, I'm going to be thinking about how nervous I am for that test and I'm going to be anxious and then the edit's going to be crappy and then I'm going to post it. I'm going to hate it. If you just set aside time to study, it could be just be a short amount of time, but to focus all your attention and then reward yourself with editing afterwards, you'll feel so much better. Also, this kind of goes back to the first thing that I mentioned about discipline, something that I find very helpful is setting yourself intervals 
okay, in time intervals on what you're gonna work on stuff. So that could be saying for 30 minutes, I'm gonna study, and then for 20 minutes, I'm gonna edit. It's a very short time, but hypothetically, 20 minutes, I'm gonna edit. If you give yourself that set boundaries, you are not allowed to twist those boundaries. You're not gonna underdo it, you're not gonna overdo it. You're gonna set yourself 20 minutes. You're gonna say, Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. And so you're gonna do that and you're gonna stick to it. Okay, please, like the more you practice, the better you get at it. Even if you wanna continue editing, even if you wanna do that last transition, stop. Move to the next thing, come back to it. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna, your edit's still gonna be there when you come back. Now, the also, another sad thing is, is that this is gonna need sacrifice, okay? If there's a week where you're crammed with school, don't feel the need to post, okay? You'll be like, oh, I'm gonna lose followers, I'm gonna lose this. No you're gonna be okay, trust me. Now, something that I do to keep my followers active if I'm busy with school is I might just post a random post and be like, how is everyone doing? Just like a catch up post, some updates. You don't necessarily have to post an edit to be active and to keep your followers going, if that makes sense, if that's what you're worried about. If editing is your passion and that's what you love doing, you know that you're gonna have to sacrifice some time to do school, okay? It's, that's just how the world works. That could also be, if you're not, if you're a person who like can't let editing go, you're like, I have to post this many times a week and if you're that kind of person, you're gonna have to sacrifice the fact that your edits aren't all gonna be winners, okay? You might have a scrap edit that you save and you hate, but you're gonna post it to be active. You're going to have to be like, sacrifice, okay, I'm gonna make a simple edit. I'm not gonna do all these 3D shapes and this because it's gonna take more time. You have to think things through because doing stuff in the moment and being impulsive about it isn't always the best way to go. So I hope these tips were helpful. Uh, I hope these tips were helpful or motivative in some way. Sorry, this video is super short. I hope these were helpful. And if you're watching my channel instead of doing homework, then good decisions, but not good decisions at the same time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.